And this is quarterfinals. Loru versus Black Clone. Streamer Planet, let's go. And Loru immediately going for the crown. Trying to be using uh Loru's gonna be using a lot of those projectiles since this is another match and we're going to be seeing uh I guess we're going to be seeing a lot of this whenever Black Clone plays. This is another match where it's going to be almost full speed versus power. Power and projectiles, but they both have their projectiles. Loru doing the nice combo there, Barry into a full jab combo. But another Barry. And oh Black Clone wasn't able to punish on that. Um uh, We're going to be seeing a lot of just trying to deal with the projectiles from Black Clone. Black Clone has going to be Black Clone is going to be having to deal with the cannonballs. Black Clone is going to have to be dealing with the crown. And he can actually answer back with his paralyzer and the whip. But that might not be enough to get him through to Loru. Right now, he's at a about 70% away uh, from Loru Mirth. And Loru is just sticking to his game plan. Getting that damage in and then getting a solid hit. A solid aerial to send Black Clone all the way out to the blast zone. Now Loru with the stock advantage. And he's just going to be sticking to his game plan. Throwing out the crowns, throwing out the cannonballs. Oh, uh, Black Clone managing to get the heals. Heals to the face, but not being able to get anything else off of that Paralyzer. And I think one of the main issues here is that Zero Suit, like I mentioned, is rather hard to play. It's not really easy to play, and it's not really easy to adapt to a good player with a, a an established game plan. I feel like a lot of people don't really think what their game plan is going to be, other than just hit the opponent. And uh, with Loru, that's not the case. Loru usually has a, a, a strategy thought out. And that's what he's doing right now. He gets another stock with that boxing glove. Not looking too good for Black Clone right now. And he gets buried again. Lower not being able to get the clap. Another clap from Loru. <laughs> that cannonball was just creeping towards Black Clone again. And Zero Suit Samus, I think, is also um, a fan favorite character. But right now, she's having a lot of trouble versus the big Black Croc. And, and that's another thing. Even if uh, Black Clone wants to use his Paralyzer, Loro can just bounce it back. The clap meta, exactly. <laughs> and the big black croc. Yes, indeed, Botus. I just noticed that doesn't really sound as nice, but I already said it, so I can't take it back. <laughs> Loro is just looking for a big hit to finish this off. The big black hawk, yes, we do have a big black hawk, too. But another hit from Loru is going to do it, and there we go. Counter does reflect projectiles. Yes, indeed. Uh, we have a bit of Spanish there in chat, which is just pretty much Vashe being amazed. He didn't know that the counter reflected projectiles, and somehow it does. It's like a that big belly is like a mirror. We had some input lag in there, but it was manageable. I understand, Loru. Uh, thank you for reporting that. Mr. Junior Taylor is saying hello in chat. And now Black Clone is going to have to adapt because Black Clone had a lot of trouble that first game. Let's see if he can pull it back on the second one. Battle is about to start. <laughs> Just play around it. Dumbo. <laughs> okay, game two, quarterfinals. Lorumeth is leading 1-0 over Black Clone. Let's see if Black Clone can adapt because that was a bit of a rough first match. And right off the bat, heals to the face. But Loru, once again, going to be using the crown, going to be using the cannonballs. 42 already, just off of a couple of hits. 51. And it's important to remember as well, a lot of players don't consider this when fighting K. Rool or when fighting Link and Young Link and all of them. But the crown and the boomerangs do come back. So you need to be careful with that. If you don't really plan out, you could be surprised and get hit by it coming back and that could put you in a very, very tough spot. Right now, Black Clone seems like he he's adjusting pretty nicely. Already at 81%, this game is much more even than the last one. And he, look at that, he even has um, Loru not being able to pick up the crown, just barely now being able to pick it up. That big belly hit at the flip kit. He's got a big opportunity right now. Ooh, he could have done an up B and that might have been enough. He, I think he feared that he wasn't going to be staying buried for a long time. The super armor from uh, K. Rool 
just saved him from a couple of hits right there. But he needs to be careful because Kerul and his big, bold belly blade can save you from a, a couple of hits. But eventually that breaks and that is as if you were having your shield broken. So that leaves you very, very vulnerable. Loru just being able to manage it right now. And he's been able to take that first stock, the crown and the crown again and the cannonball. And that's 41% already. Black Clone started out this game a lot, a lot better than the first one. But now Loru is just taking that advantage and running with it again. Trying to reflect, not being able to. The They're saying that there is a slight input lag, which might might affect that. Especially with things that come out as fast as Zero Suits attacks. Loru has been able to deal with it so far, but right now he just ate it, that boost kick. And now he's down to his second stock as well. He's still got a big percentage lead. He's just extending it right now with the projectiles. Oh, going for the boxing glove, which would have taken that stock for sure, not being able to. Now he's just going for that back here. And the Croc's big hands just racking up the damage. And the thing that Zero Suit could be going for right now is also an edge guard. K. Rool has a good enough recovery so that he can't get edge guarded as much. But Zero Suit definitely can do it. Not this time though, he's about to get vacuumed and sent all the way out of the stage. Black Clone down to his last stock. If he doesn't show up right now, he could be he could be seeing his streak end right here. And I think last tournament, Black Clone got to the second round as well. I think he beat Arbiter in the first round, and then he lost. I'm not sure who he lost to, but it seems like he he's having trouble getting past the second round. He he's, has proved himself to be consistent. He's got to the second round both times, but it's just like... He, he hasn't been able to make it further. Right now he's doing some... He's getting some decent hits in. He got an off smash. He's, he's been getting some heat hits in. But look at that. The Croc is a big boy. Croc is not going to be dying as easily. 105, 111. And he's still just going to be able to come back. No problem. Oh, he tried to go for the counter there. The boost kick still not enough. 128%. And Lore is still living. And, oh, the clap. That clap could have been dangerous. Loro was trying to get him with that clap. That is finally going to do it. Black Clone, bring it back. He can still do this. Zero Suit has the combo ability to just be able to pull it back. But Loro now just needs to get a couple more hits in. And then a big hit is going to do it. That boost kick covering up nicely. 20% on Loro. I think what Black Clone should be going for uh, a little more, especially when he gets the Paralyzer hits, is just grabs. Zero Suit's grab is kind of slow. It's not really the best grab in the game. But if you can secure a grab, you can usually secure a lot of damage. And sometimes even some combos that can be deadly. Right now, he's been able to pull it back from a bigger deficit. He still needs to be really careful because another hit will do it. Sleep mode will do it as too. But an up smash and 69% already on Gloru. 73, but 125 on Black Clone. Black Clone needs to be perfect if he wants to get this comeback and force a game 3. Right there, he just barely dodged the aerial. Oh, a solid hit. Is it enough? Yes, it is. Black Clone. Black Clone with the big comeback. Guys, that was impressive. I do have to say that was impressive because ah, it looked like he had a mountain to climb and he just did it. And we have another game 3. Quarterfinals, Streamer, Planet, Smash Monthly, Game 3. And they're sticking to their guns. They know what they're doing. It's been working so far. So why change it? But that was a solid comeback. Black Clone. Let's see if he can keep up the momentum now. Because we really we really saw how the momentum can shift so, so fast. And we've had matches that it seemed like one of the, one of the competitors was just winning by a landslide. And then we had a match immediately after where the other competitor was the one that got the big advantage. So right now, we have Loru, 19% on Loru, 37% on Black Clone. Those combos though, Black Clone hasn't been able to deal with the projectiles at low percentages. Usually whenever he gets hit by the crown or whenever he gets hit by the cannonball, he takes a lot of damage. But he has been adjusting really well. Now he's taking advantage a lot more of the speed of Zero Suit. He wasn't really doing it on the first game. And he wasn't really doing it for most part of the second game either, but he managed to be able to... Oh no, I believe that was a mistake. I'm not sure if he lost his jump there. 
at some point. But he definitely... I think he could have jumped and then done the recovery and he would have been okay. But maybe he lost his jump and that's why he didn't recover on time. He was trying to jump and he couldn't. That is very unfortunate for Black Clone, but that's not Loru's fault. He's going to be running with it. And he's going to be almost getting that second stock right there. That was very, very dangerous for Black Clone. But now Loru has got a big advantage. He's got all the momentum. He's got almost a full stock lead. He actually got more than a full stock lead now that I look at the percentages. I was looking at the percentages the other way around. But we have that solid back here. Not going to be able to take it. The Cannonball might... Oh, Black Clone is still alive, but just barely hanging on by a thread. Oh, that could have been... I think Black Clone just... Um, he doesn't know that the Paralyzer gives him more than enough time to do an, to do a grab, to do a... Oh, solid claw by Loru. But whenever you paralyze someone with Zero Suit, you usually have more than enough time to get a grab, to get a smash, or to get an up B. And at this percentage, all of those would definitely get... Lower rate of his first stock, but no, Black Clone with another big mistake. He air dodged, and that's enough to give you a big amount of uh, lag or cooldown time where you can't do anything else. So he wasn't able to recover after that. I'm pretty sure he was not trying to do that. Loru is still going to run with it. He said 162, but he refuses to give up that stock. Loru says no stocks left behind. Oh, he... <laughs> He risked it there because that roll into the smash was kind of ill-advised, but he's still alive at 174. And Black Lone must be feeling rather pressured because he just can't take away that stock. He's already at 43 on his last stock, 179 on Loru, but he's still living. Oh, and that parry! The parry on the down smash! Hype! That's a berry, and that's going to be that's going to be it. Finally, almost at 200 percent it took 200% to take Loru's first stock. He's at 89. He did make a big comeback last game, but I'm not sure if he's got enough fuel in the tank for another one. He might. He just might. So let's let's take a look. That big belly attack. Not enough to just end this, but I think he... Yes, he... I think he was trying to flip jump the other way. GG's to both of you guys. That was an excellent showing. And we have Loru moving on to semi-finals.